my first impression of Will, the first time I met him, um, it's funny actually, I said it in my uh, best man speech at his wedding. Um, it was at Wolverhampton, I think 2006. I remember walking into the weighing room and seeing this tiny little fella. I honestly wondered who, who he belonged to, like whose, whose son was he? And uh, little did I know at the time, it, it was William Buick, yeah. When I grew up, before I started riding, it was, you know, it was Frankie. You know, he was my my idol, and uh, you know, he, he could he, he looked different on a horse to, to most other jockeys. You know, he could do he can do things on a horse that you know, not, not many other people can. So um, yeah, he, he was always uh, a jockey I looked up to. But you know, you kind of understand when you start riding that copying him is a is a hard thing to do. <laughs> but he's a yeah he's. He's one of the greats. The pursuit of the title obviously massively impacts family life. Um, you know, obviously the sport has to come first when you're, you know, trying to chase a championship or just trying to do well in general in this in this sport. You have to give it your all. You have to put the hours in. Um, and you know, that's what Will does. He's always been very ambitious, anyway. Um, but you know, family life, it is different. It is, you know, you're, you are on your own a lot. Um, but he always makes up for it when he is about. He's a really good father, so we are lucky. Watching him through his riding career, he, he was always, you know, I remember watching him on his first ride at Brighton. He, he looked very polished even then on his first ride. So he, he's always been a very natural rider. He's got beautiful hands, he can relax horses, and he's impeccably strong in a finish. He's, you know, he's puts 100% into, um, into his fitness regime and I think that really does tell even on the small days when he's had nine, ten rides in a row right through to the, to the really big races. I think it's, it's ultra consistent. Ian Balding had a bet on me to become champion jockey by, I mean I have to apologise because I missed out by, well, I don't know how many years but I didn't quite get there in time. Um, but he got something like I don't know, a thousand to one. Since then, it was, it was um, I realised, you know, how, how important um, it was. One thing is when you become champion jockey, or when you try to become champion jockey, is it, it's hard work. You know, you're not entitled to it at all. It, it's sort of every day and, and every race um, and everything that comes with it. But you know, I, I love every minute of it. You know, when it's going well, when you're riding winners, riding nice horses, you're at the big meetings, you're riding nice winners. Um, it's when, when it goes like that. It, it, it's it's great. There's no better feeling. So um, although it is hard work at times, you know, but you wouldn't change it. When every jockey starts out, that's that's kind of what you want to achieve. You want to win the Derby. And you want to become champion jockey. You know, obviously he's had two five timers this year, which you know is no easy feat. And generally, just actually, you know, riding on le you know lesser horses at tracks a million miles away. To see your very close friend achieve something that he hasn't done before, that he strived to do for so long, it's just incredible, really. 